What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and you might be thinking your iPhone 6s is now old and maybe you want to upgrade to the new iPhone 7. I want to do a comparison between the two to help you decide whether or not it's worth the upgrade and I will make a recommendation. So let's talk a little bit about what's different. First, aesthetically, there are color differences here as well. Space gray is gone, replaced with a new matte black option and there's now a jet black option as well in 128 or 256, which brings me to my next point. Storage sizes are doubled from last gen, so you get double the storage for the same price. Aesthetically, there are a few other notable differences. The antenna lines, them, them ugly antenna lines have been moved from the top and bottom of the iPhone 6 and the 6S. It's almost be hidden to the very top of the phone on the iPhone 7, so it's a cleaner look on the back. The camera humps are still here. It's a little bit more pronounced on the iPhone 7 and certainly way more pronounced on the dual camera having iPhone 7 Plus. So bear that in mind. The biggest difference though aesthetically between the two phones comes on the bottom. And if you use headphones a lot, you might want to give a real big pause on whether or not you want to upgrade. In the box, Apple does include a lightning at 3.5, so you've got that, but if you lose the dongle, you're going to be out of luck. Apple's really pushing this wireless world, so if you need a 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones, then you might want to hold on to your phone. Speakers are here, are improved. It's now stereo speakers. The speaker's actually kind of right up top there. Uh, supposedly this other speaker on the side is even a real speaker, where the headphone jack used to be. It's just a, just a grill. Uh, other notable changes now have IP67 water resistant. So if you live in an area where it rains a lot, or you're prone to dropping your phone and wet things, it might be worth the upgrade. A lot of changes are things you can't see. The new A10 Fusion processor is supposedly about 50% faster than last gen A9. It's quad core, two for high power, two for low power versus the dual core chip on the iPhone 6S. On the camera front, the iPhone 7 adds OIS, which is previously only reserved for the iPhone 6S Plus. It also has a wider aperture at f1.8, so you get more light in it when you take your pictures. The flash is also improved from dual LED to quad LED, and also it's that two-tone, so if you use a flash a lot, you should get better pictures. The home button, still here, but it no longer is a physical depressing home button. It uses Apple's Taptic engine, and it takes a lot of getting used to to really feel comfortable with it. Uh, supposedly, Apple did it to help with waterproofing, and supposedly less moving parts means less things that can ultimately break. It works, and it works pretty well. It just feels different. So if you're used to the physical clicky home button on every generation iPhone before, you can have a bit of a learning curve here. Dimension-wise, they're almost exactly the same, and battery life is a little bit improved. You get about an hour longer with the iPhone 7. Other than that, things are relatively similar here. You've got the same two gigs of RAM in both phones, the same now ridiculously low resolution 750p screen on the iPhone 7. There's an improved color gamut on the iPhone 7. For my eye and my money, the screens look almost identical from the 7 to the 6S. I see no difference at all. Maybe that'll change over time, but at least first impressions, I notice very little difference. So the question I asked, should you upgrade? If you need more storage, if your phone is running out of space, then yeah, upgrade, you get double the storage for the same price. If you rely on your phone as your dedicated camera, the pictures do look better coming out of the iPhone 7. If you use it for video, OIS is going to be a nice improvement, but nothing overly drastic. So I think unless you need that one of those features, you need the waterproofing or you need a better camera, I say probably set this generation out and stick with the iPhone 6S or even possibly the iPhone 6. Doesn't seem worth the update, and especially all the rumors we're hearing about the 10th anniversary edition iPhone coming next year with an OLED screen and curves. If you waited this long, maybe you can wait another year. If you find yourself really pining after the new phone, and do it, you know exactly what you're gonna get. It is the Apple experience through and through, just improved and refined. If those improvement and refinements are worth it to you, go ahead, not be disappointed. You know exactly what you're gonna be getting here. The only time I would say definitely upgrade if you're on an iPhone 5S or earlier. This is gonna be a big significant upgrade from those phones. What do you guys think? Are you gonna be upgrading your iPhone 6, 6S or something older? Let me know, leave in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buff.